name of this piece is uh, Move Fast and Break Things. <laughs> um, for reasons that will become obvious. Thank <laughs> you. 
said, you know, we've been finding many old pieces in Philip Glass's archives, because Philip Glass is he's 85, doing great, but they're looking through his things. And we found this three clarinet piece that doesn't seem to have been played in at least 50 years. So um, I said, please send it to me. <laughs> and before I even got off the phone, I called up a recording studio and said, okay, we have to record this piece immediately. And it's a really wonderful piece uh, written by Phil Glass in 1968, possibly never played, he doesn't really remember. Uh, and it's right in between his early works and the very seminal works of the late 60s, like music and fifths, music and contra motion, those pieces are right before that. You hear pieces of both.
Thank you so much. Um, another piece of music from the late 1960s that does not get played so much on the bass clarinet is uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, for some reason, he doesn't get played much on the bass clarinet. But um, he performed at Woodstock, and he did this incredible, don't worry, I'm not going to play Purple Haze. Um, he did this amazing improvisation, which was just called on the Woodstock album, Woodstock Improvisation. So uh, that's the name of this. And um, it goes something like this.
piece of, uh, of American music to play for you. Um, this is a brand new piece. Uh, I asked Terry Riley, who is alive and well and living in Japan, if he would write me a piece. Uh, he said he would, which was the thrill of my life. And uh, then he started sending me these beautiful graphic scores, uh, paintings with notation on them and drawings of his time in Japan. And, um, and that's the piece. <laughs> So we've been, he's, he's, we've been communicating via the various ways one does when you're across continents now, and he sends me drawings, and I send him recordings, and he sends me good vibes. <laughs> and so this piece is called Ki, K-I, which is the Japanese version of Chi in Chinese, so life energy. And it's a series of impressions of his time in Japan uh, some of which are very naturalistic. So the first movement is a waterfall and the smoke that rises from the waterfall. Second movement is a temple processional. Uh, and then it starts to get a little bit more random after that. So uh, there's uh, things that are sort of homages to J.S. Bach and waterfalls at the same time and Ornette Coleman and Canyon. So there's an Ornette Canyon movement. And um, then a lot of time spent at the swimming pool where he goes for uh, water therapy and um, some mountains that he's been climbing, and uh, it's a little bit of a journey. So the one thing I will say is that um, maybe to, uh, uh, first of all, thanks to the sound crew, and particularly to Christine Southworth, who is running the uh, electronics for this piece. Um, we'll keep the cadenza short <laughs> when we get to it. But uh, this is Terry Riley's key, and this is the world premiere.
do a short one if you want. <laughs> this is another uh, song from, this is from the 70s. This is by Jaco Pastorius. It's called Portrait of Tracy. Just a couple. No. <laughs> 